I'm John Pankhurst, the Morning Marketing Man. If you find this content interesting, engaging, or added value, please like, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, or share with friends if you're on LinkedIn. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how you can drive more traffic to your products if you're selling online or considering to sell online, leveraging off of the Google Shopping Channel. It's an amazing tool, it's not for free, but my word, you can drive some traffic to your website. So, here is part one of our introduction to Google Shopping. You're gonna need two things for Google Shopping to start working. You're gonna need a Google Merchant account, and you're also gonna need a Google Ads account. So number one, what is Google Shopping? What it actually is, is a way of you advertising your products from your e-commerce site onto Google's homepage, and that's what's so powerful about it. It gets your products to the homepage of Google. So imagine if you were selling taps online, you could list your products straight with Google merchants and get them advertised on the homepage of Google. So let's search for them now and see what the ads look like. And on the right hand side, you can see we've got about nine different ads on the right hand side. So what actually is happening here is that the different companies are submitting large amounts of data into Google merchant and then Google Merchant is then hooking up with Google Ads and displaying those ads on the right hand side. So if I was to click that link right now, it would take you over to Victoria Plum and we would see the product. I don't think that's very fair because that's going to cost them money. But if you click the shopping tab, like I've just done there, you can start to see how you could filter. So I want a slightly better quality tap. And I want to say a, a brand, let's choose a brand, say Hudson Road. Okay. Now it's slightly different in this view, immediately it's not, you're not going to get taken straight to the product. If you click a product like that one there, uh, the details of the item that I'm going to buy, the name and then the price here and that's very important. So Google are fastidious about pricing and the product when it gets through to the landing page. So what they have are robots that will actually click through to the landing page and check the price so that you will tag the price and Google checks it periodically. So very, very important you get this data spot on and also keep it up to date because if it falls out of date, your items will get blocked from Google. Number two, you're gonna need a Google Merchant account. The drawback of having such a large set of data, we do have to keep it maintained on a regular basis. And that experience is what I'm gonna show you today on how to tweak those listings and get them really higher in search. So we're logged in now under Photo For Me. Uh, just above on the top left hand side, it will actually show the ID for the account, but because of data protection, I'm gonna hide that. Uh, but you can see from the home page here that we've got an awful lot of products listed. We've got around 87,000 listings with about 11,000 products that are disapproved. So we need to work on those products. We need to understand why they're getting uh, declined by Google. Uh, so there could be price changes. Uh, a lot of the photographs that are uploaded to our site are uploaded by um, members of the public. And they have free will to change the prices of their products. So, and here you can see that there are four different warnings we're getting from Google and we need to check these. Now, one of them is uh, saying that there's watermarks or promotional text in the images. Now, some of these uh, images do have copyright symbols in them uh, because the photographers want them to be protected. So we would then look at these particular examples and remove them from our set of data that's getting pushed via the API. Within Google Merchant, you've got something called What's Popular, and this beautiful tool gives you the ability to find out who is listing products and what products are in demand so you can go out, resource them and put them on your own website. Find it, so you go into Diagnostics, go into Product Suggestions and here you'll find items that have been searched for that may, may be a good opportunity for you. So look at this particular item, Nike shoe. Um, only got two Benchmark prices from Goodhood and Consortium, £169 and £169.99. So there's definitely an opportunity there. This is one of the fastest, most effective ways you can start to get traffic to your shopping site outside of doing search engine optimization and PPC. You're going to need a Google Ads account and you're going to need a Google Merchants account. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, or share with friends if you found this video gave you some value today. I'll see you next week.